Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a look at Australian film from 2020, 2067. Due to the pandemic, the film had issues with its release here in the US and was released to a limited theaters and online as well. With its take on time travel, the viewer ventures into yet another chance at redemption. 2067 was produced by Arcadia and released by RLJE Films in early October of 2020. This science fiction film takes place in a future where the Earth is extremely devastated by climate change where plant life on Earth is now extinct. Slowly every country becomes dark and civilization around the globe collapses. One city in Australia has been able to cope with synthetic oxygen to survive. Using synthetic oxygen also yields adverse effects and leads others to gain a disease labeled the sickness. While struggling to survive and make ends meet day in and day out with his wife, Ethan White is called upon to travel in time to solve the current issues and return with a cure for the sickness. The time machine from the future sends a cryptic message to send Ethan White and Ethan White alone. As Ethan's wife is infected as well, he agrees to go to the future in hopes of finding a cure for his wife and hopefully a cure for everyone else. As Ethan ventures into the future, he copes with his own inner demons and traumatic past he dealt with growing up. He is also later joined with caregiver and friend Jude to complete the mission. The writing of the film is good, with the acting done much better than I thought, with the film surrounding the two main characters of Ethan and Jude. Heavy character development begins and ends with Ethan as he rediscovers himself with all the unanswered questions he has had in the past. The acting, for me, surprisingly carries the film as it is slow paced as Ethan and Jude investigate the future and what it means for the past. All characters feel real enough for the viewer to care and find out what happens next. The story itself is your average time travel fixes everything type of movie. You pretty much know what happens next, but the pacing and acting does keep you in the dark. Guessing all the way to the end, but ultimately doesn't surprise you at all. The visuals are both dark, futuristic, and then lush with color, depending on the mood of the film, and works quite well. Although the special effects are on the low end of the film, they are enough to keep you in their world. Just don't expect high levels of action and visual effects in this one. Drama and the dramatic acting in the characters is what truly keeps you around. 2067 gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its good dramatic acting but fails in telling a more robust story in survival. The film could have been so much more with added discoveries than relying on the spirit of the human race. A good rental for sure, but something you have seen before and does not improve on. That's it for me on this episode on Reviewing 2067. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.